What's up everyone, Kago here coming at you with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to create a niche market. And this takes a lot of thinking, a lot of steps. Um, it requires some raw material gain as well as a understanding of what you can do with those raw materials and when and where they're used. So, as you've seen from the fishing guides, we have gotten a ton of stone scale eels, like so many. And so I took those stone scale eels and I turned them into stone scale oil. Let's look, I'll, here's my bank to show you how much stone scale oil I have. All of this right here is just from the fishing that I've done. So in the beginning, when I started that, I found those eels and I asked, what? could this eel do? So then I just went over to Wowhead, honestly, looked up what it turned into. It turns into stone scale oil. I saw the stone scale oil was selling. I was like, okay, that's pretty good. And then I decided to see what stone scale oil can turn into. And we found out that stone scale oil is used for greater stone shield potions as well as elixirs of superior defense. And the only other things you need is one sungrass per potion and one thorium ore per potion. Now, I don't, my, obviously this priest is a herb, but it's level 35 right now, so I can't really go and get sungrass too effectively. So I will either buy it or I'll reach out to a max level herb that's in the guild or a friend and ask if they want to go in on a bargaining. Like, I will do the auctioning, I will do the creating. I just need sun grass, and then I will send you a – usually I do 50-50. Like, I'll give them 50% of what I make because I have so much oil, and the sun grass is really, really important for making it. Like, I couldn't do it without that. So I try to take care of those people that can do what I can't. Same with the thorium or for those greater stone scale uh, potions. I try to find a miner, see what I can do with that. And that's just step one. That's knowing what you can get and how you can get all of those potions, things like that. The next thing is kind of determining what you can do with those. So we're going to go over here to the auction house, and I'm going to show you everything that I've done thus far. So we have, we're, we're just going to search stone scale because the oil and the potions come up. So when I went to put these on the auction house at first stone scale oil was down to like eight uh like 10 silver per just the cost to make it essentially and uh send it out there eels were like five silver per so we took i bought all the eels and bought all the oil on the auction house as well as contributing to my own and then put it back up there for like one two gold per now obviously i don't expect it to stay at there that's not how economy works but what it does is it creates a huge uh price point and price gouging and then um when we come to the flasks i believe they are um i'm not sure if they're stone scale no they're not um, so we have these elixirs of superior defense. So these are just uh, 450 for one, uh, 450 armor for one hour. And the people that use these are tanks, okay? And so how many, so I asked my tanks, I was like, how many tanks fish? How many tanks have an alchemist? Almost none of the people I asked were either of those. They said they just bought the flasks or bought the potions or bought the mats and found someone to make it. So hiking that point, making it to where like eels cost enough. Like in reality, these take about, let's see how many eels these take. So the, the greater stone shield potions, those are actually pretty, really good and expensive. So it takes two eels, two eels and one sun grass. Normally you'd be able to get that for 30 gold or 30 silver. And then you just have someone make that. But since we skyrocketed the price, it, and then we also bought out these elixirs because there weren't that many. So we bought out the elixirs of superior defense and the greater stone shield potions. So what we did with these is then we could put them up on the auction house for way higher than what they were going for. So now 
people are trying to raid, do stuff like that. Anixia was last night for the reset, Monday. Um, and around 6 p.m. I find on my server is peak hours, as well as people want to do the raids on reset. So make creating that bubble of it's way it's not worth it for them to buy the mats to make the flask or potion or elixir and then also putting those up to where they're slightly cheaper than the escalated um price of the eels comes out to people buying these and i made about 200 gold in like a half hour all most of my auctions sold you know right now i still have a ton of oil and I'm waiting for either my uh, herbalist and miner to get me more sungrass and thorium to make more. I don't really need to make more right now. You know, we look at these oils and stuff. We see my fire oils up. We see um, just all that's up there. And this will sell. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to sell. I just put these all up here because we sold out yesterday. Um, my current gold, this is my ult. So I, my gold is just all over the place. Any ult I have has about 100 G give or take, just so I can do whatever I want to do on that character, because in Classic, you don't have that instant trade. But the point of all this is to show you guys knowing when raids happen. Like, I know Invictus, um, Mind Games, which is my guild, and um, Onslaught, all raid on Thursday night. On Thursdays, the price of greater fire pots go up to, like, 8 gold. These potions don't no one's really dabbled with these so i'm gonna see this thursday but i think i can make a killing doing the exact same thing just buying it out skyrocketing the price selling all those pots because every tank anyone who wants to be a top tier raider is going to need these so it's just sort of creating an artificial bubble by seeing what's a hard mat to get like the eels aren't hard to get but who wants to fish not many people thought fishing was this good or how you could use it as well as having the alchemy level to make these potions yourself and getting them up there. Sure, there's other people who have it. And yeah, I might take a little bit of a loss like right now, but I have the gold to invest in that. And then once I if I do this every Anixia, every Molten Core, peak hours at 6 p.m. Eastern about, I'm going to sell so many and make such a killing that it's worth any sort of uh, investment that I do here. And the the point is, is you don't have to do this with eels. I'm using this as an example because I have showed you guys how I have gotten all of those, how I have taken all those and put them into this, as well as a combination of working the auction house to create things at a significant profit. Like, I don't have to sell all of these. I just have to sell, like, five at the 200%, 300% increase because people want to raid and they want to get gear and tanks need these. Like, tanks need these. Um, hell, even Frost Mage is farming. They, these are nice. Like, just an extra 450 armor helps them farm a ton. So those are the people that are going to be buying these. Like, anyone that's out there taking a ton of hits and knowing that, knowing when the times to do this are, helps so much because you'll sell out as well as you can build um that economy um and yeah that's all i want to show you guys sort of how to create that niche market and how to how timing matters how to put that together and i really hope this helps people um you can do this with leather working just look for leathers uh almost every profession has this capability you know, after a raid, I'll go and put my enchanting mats up because everyone just got done raiding. They got a bunch of new gear. Like, I know most of the guild raid, most of my server raids on Thursday. And I figured that out just by asking the big guilds when they raid. And these big guilds have four raid groups going at it. So putting my mats up, my enchanting mats up from Thursday night, Friday, I make a ton more money because it's that time of day that people are doing that like all you have to do is just find the material like find pick a raw material anything and then just look where it's used most how you can turn that into the most profit and then do it like that's all you have to, like i say that's all you have to do obviously that took a lot of research and preparation as well as getting the professions to where they needed to be but if you invest that sort of thing you can make so much money so faster so much faster than you could any other way 
because you're literally monopolizing setting the economy to your best interests as well as making a ton of money at the same time. And I can name off a few other examples if you want to. Um, greater fire pots, as I mentioned earlier, takes one elemental fire and one dream foil. Partner with the herb. Be like, hey, I have elk and I have a level 60 that I can farm tons of elemental fire on. I'll do this if you um, can get me some dream foil and then we'll split the profits on selling these potions. Like, just work. If you're missing something, work with someone else until you either get that something yourself or if it's more profitable for the time it takes you to go out and get them you keep doing it like i have that deal with like four or five people just sort of using what they can't or don't want to use because it's easier for them just to send it to me to process and sell and so that's what i'm trying to show you guys here how to sort of create that niche market and how you can end up making a ton of money that you can lend out, help people buy your best in slot BOEs, whatever you need it for, epic writing. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helps you uh, look into the sort of inner uh, intricacies of World of Warcraft's economy and sort of how you can use these things to your advantage. Now, if you're on my server, I'm just gonna flat out tell you, don't do this at the same time as me. All we're gonna end up doing is just hurting each other quick disclaimer um find a different potion or something um to do this with obviously it hurts me but it'll hurt you too you won't be able to pull it off if two three people are flooding it ex uh, tons so i just want to throw that disclaimer in there but anyway thank you so much guys i hope this helps and please let me know if i can help you with anything else and i hope you have a great day Bye bye just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support for these guides. We've been at it for a few days right now, and we have found so much support. They've been much better than our Fortnite. I love doing them. I love making them, and I'm so happy they help. So if you could please like, comment, subscribe, I would sincerely appreciate it. And we can help you all get your epic mounts and whatever else you need. So thank you all, and have a fantastic day.